The starting linebacker for the Spokane Shock is in jail tonight. He's charged with setting his apartment on fire early this morning. Good evening and thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Mike Gonzalez. According to court documents, 25 year old Kevin Ellison told investigators God told him to do it. KXY 4's Annie Bishop is live tonight. And Annie, these are some pretty bizarre details. And the shock owner Brady Nelson says that Ellison it was always a hardworking stand up player during games here at the Spokane Arena, but that in the last few days his character suddenly changed. In fact, Nelson says Ellison began sending out texts overnight claiming he was Jesus and that he was a part of the second coming. At first glance, the early morning fire at Big Trout Lodge Apartments in Liberty Lake appeared to be an accident. You know, it was frightening. You know, watching the siding melt off the building and seeing the flames shoot out. But as investigators started asking questions, the story quickly changed. According to court papers, 25 year old Kevin Ellison, a linebacker for the shock, set fire to his bed with a cigar because, quote, God told him to. Ellison jumped out a third floor window to escape the flames. His neighbors were forced to evacuate. It came within feet of doing damage, and had it not been for the very expedient response of the fire department who had been in the area anyway, the damage would have been much greater, and I'm, I'm convinced that lives could have very well been lost. Ellison was taken to Deaconess for smoke inhalation, and that's where he allegedly confessed. Dave Smith lives next door and has been following the story all day. We are, we're very upset. Ellison has been with the shock for six weeks now. He graduated from USC and played for the San Diego Chargers in 2009. He also played for the Seahawks for a short time. Shock owner Brady Nelson says Ellison is on league suspension and doesn't think he'll return. Neighbors now want Ellison to be held accountable and get help. The young gentleman obviously has problems beyond um, what people probably are aware of, but I think um, living here more than a year, it's sad to me that um, it'll be a reflection on the shock who are great community members. Ellison is now facing a federal arson charge, which carries a jail time between five and 20 years. Reporting live, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News. Annie,